Hello everyone. Okay, if we can write sh uh, the short date please and the learning objective. Uh, it may well be the 1st of May today. If not, just write the date you are doing the work, okay? Pause the video, then we will carry on from there. Okay, press play afterwards. Right, okay, so as the learning objective say, uh, tells us, uh, we are looking at uh, ratios, okay? So ratio is basically, is, 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 is comparing values. You compare values. It says how much one thing there is compared to another. So let's have a little look. If we have uh, three green dots and two red dots, so both three green and three, uh, three red dots, the ratio here is there are three green, two, two red. Now, how we write this with a ratio, it's a three, and then we, what we must do is write those two dots, that is the ratio, three to two, okay? For every three green, let's turn them to red, there are, uh, there are two red. For every three green dots, there are two red. So the ratio is three to two on those dots, okay? I think we'll go straight into the work today. Okay, so have a look, please, at page uh, page 98 in your book. Okay, if you can quickly go to page 98. Okay, pause the video if you need to. Um, and here we have um, our ratios. So it says, write the ratio of pattern tiles to plain tiles. Now, it's important the which, which words come first here. So pattern tiles comes first to plain tiles. So all I have to do for number one, okay, so for number one, Okay, how many pattern tiles are there? One, two, three. Compared to how many plain tiles? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the ratio there is three to six. And actually, if I add up those tiles, I can see there are nine altogether. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the ratio should add up to how many tiles there are. So just do an equal sign, just a little bit away from it, just to show that, yeah, just to check that you're correct. Let's have a look at number two. How many pattern tiles? Again, we're going pattern tiles first because that's what it's asking us in the question. One, two, three, four, five. Number two, there are five pattern tiles compared to five non-pattern tiles. So again, that will give us 10 in total. Okay, so just do those first five questions, please. Writing in the ratio for pattern tiles and plain tiles, okay? Pause the video while you do that and then press play when you've done those first uh, five questions. Okay, thank you. Right, okay, okay. We, uh, I don't know how much um, how much you've done in terms of uh, ratio, so we'll, we'll start off with this sort of basic stuff. Uh, now, so the ratio here of red to blue, write the ratio of red to blue. So again, all I'm gonna do is count the reds, one, two, three, four reds. Remember my two dots, how many blues? One, two, three, to three blues, okay? Straightforward. Then uh, black to green, so I'm gonna count the blacks, do the two dots, count the greens and write the numbers in there, okay? Uh, again, could you quickly do those, please? Quickly do those. Write in the ratio for each one. You don't need to write the question, just write the answers, please. Just write the answers, okay? Uh, and then pause the video. Okay, so to pause the video while you do that, press play when you've done, okay? Right, okay, good. Let's just quickly go over two, four, six, eight. So there are 10 black to how many green? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to nine green. There are two, four red, two, 10 black. There are three blue, two, two, four, to nine green. And then let's look at this last one. This last one's a bit trickier, but again, the same rules apply. All you have to do, how many blue are there? Two, uh, sorry, three. How many reds? Four. How many greens? Nine, okay? So it's just three, four, nine. So you can do a longer ratio. So you can, it doesn't, it can be more than two numbers. It can be three numbers, four numbers, etc. Most of the ones we're going to do are two or three numbers, okay? Uh, right, good. Uh, just give those a quick take. 
Now, the two questions I really want us to focus on, okay, are these two here. I think I rubbed one of them out. It's annoying. Okay. Uh, so the ones I want to, let's focus on number three first. Okay, let's focus on number, th uh, number three. So it says here, the ratio of red to black is four to 10. Now, actually, this isn't our completed sum, okay? Because we can simplify this. Now, if you imagine simplifying, it's a bit like simplifying uh, ratios. It's like simplifying a fraction. If I had four tenths, as a fraction, I wouldn't be happy leaving it like that. Would I want? I'd want to simplify it. And I know I can divide it by two, and divide it by two. So halving four is two, half of ten. So two fifths would be simplified. And I sim I can do the same when I'm simplifying, um, when I'm simplifying ratios. So actually, if I want to simplify that, it would be two to five. And it's very important to be able to simplify ratios just like simplifying fractions and I know we can do that I think the question we had uh, that I rubbed out I think it was the blue three to the green which was nine is it and again um, if I had the fraction three ninths I would want to simplify that okay I'd ask myself what well, goes into both three and nine three goes into them both so I'm going to divide both by three how many threes in three? One. How many threes in nine? Three. So it would be one third. And it's the same with a ratio. But I, in the ratio, I just do them underneath. I know three goes into them both. Three goes into three once. Three goes into nine three times. Okay. So we're going to practice a little bit of these uh, simplifying ratios and then have a go at some ourselves. Okay. So let's have a go at... Um, so let's say if we had a ratio of um, 5 and 25, okay? So for every 5, this, the, this one could be in a car park. For every 5 vans, there are 25 cars, okay? So we could simplify that um, simplify that uh, ratio, okay? What goes into both five and 25? Well, of course, five goes into them both. How many times does five go into five? One, how many times does it go into 25? Five, so that's the simplest form, okay? That's the lowest form, that's the simplest form of the, um, of the ratio, okay? They could be in a school. In a school, there could be a ratio of for every, um, so the ratio could be, in a classroom, there are 12 boys, okay, 12 boys, to nine girls, okay? So we'd have the 12 and the nine, like that. And again, we have to simplify these. Uh, we're gonna simplify this uh, ratio. So again, we ask ourselves, what number goes into both 12 and 3? What is the highest common factor? We have touched on that, but uh, what number goes into both 12 and 9? And of course, it's 3 goes into them both, okay? So I'm going to divide that by 3. I'm going to divide that by 3. So how many times does 3 go into 12? 4. How many times does 3 go into 9? 3. So the simplest form of that is 4 at four, uh, four to three, okay? At uh, the ratio of four to three. You, there might be a question where you'd have, there could be, um, let's go with uh, 60, 60, um, 60 boys and 30 girls, okay? And again, you'd write the ratio 60 to 30, okay? So that would be your starting point. Now you could ask yourself, what goes into both 60 and 30? What goes into both 60 and 30? And you might think, well, 10 does, okay? So I'm gonna divide both by 10, divide both by 10. And again, I would get, then I would get six. 
how many turns in 33 I've simplified it like that uh, but I can go further again I'm gonna ask so sometimes you can do more than one step again like when we were simplifying fractions so now we're going to see what goes into both 3 and 6 3 goes into the both so now we're going to divide by 3 divide by 3 how many 3's and 6 is 2 how many 3's and 1 1 so the ratio here is for the two uh, boys for every one girl okay two boys for every one girl and that is the lowest form of our ratio um, you could get numbers where so let's have a look we could have uh, one we've got um, let's go with uh, three then we could have 12 and then we could have 30 okay so it could be three so um, at least, maybe this could be the colors color cars isn't it okay for every three yellow cars there are 12 red cars and 30 silver cars okay but can we simplify this to what goes into all of these numbers what is a factor of all these numbers three goes into them all so we divide each number by three okay divide by three again just simplifying in that way how many times does three go, uh, three go into three once how many times does it go into 12 four how many times does three go into 30 10 so the simplest form would be that one four ten okay uh, so the work we're going to be doing today is simplifying for, uh, the work you're going to be doing in your books on your own is simplifying um, just one more before we you have a go at that uh, what if we had the question where could you simplify one hour uh, uh, to 30 minutes so what would be that so let's just put that in there one hour 30 minutes have a think about how you would do that one how you do that what would you do to this one hour now whenever we're calculating uh, anything really we always put them into the same unit of measurement don't we so if, we, if we're adding sort of uh, we don't add meters and kilometers straight together we would turn perhaps the kilometers into meters and things like that okay so they're both meters um, so with this one what we'd we turn the hours to turn into minutes so then this becomes 60 to 30 okay so the ratio between one hour and 30 minutes again I can see that I'm going to divide this I can see actually I, the highest common factor of these numbers is 30 I'm going to divide them both by 30 divide by 30 uh, how many 30s and 62 how many 30s one so the ratio of hours to minutes uh, yeah it's two to one so there'd be there's some uh, tricky ones to finish with uh, today so that should help you with those now we've obviously done some of the work already we've done just finding the identifying the simple ratios so to finish off okay, this is the uh, second part of the work I want us to do in our books okay so remember when we're writing ratios and simplifying write them underneath okay I like to see them underneath because it'll help us when we, we do more complicated ratio questions work downwards with ratio okay so that's why I've left a bit of a space here for those first ones so simplify these ratios to the smallest form so what goes into both 4 and 8 okay now if you want to do you could half it and then half it again or work at the highest common factor what goes into yeah so you're dividing it making it as small as you can so section a okay pretty straightforward we should have no problem with that section b this is a little bit trickier but all of us again i think all of us should be able to do these ones okay on b extension is c but again i think most of us should be able to have a go with this extension you've got plenty of time to do it so please everyone have a little go with the extension today if you're really struggling don't worry about it please don't worry too much about it but have a little go of it okay right that's the lesson done okay uh right all the best everyone have a good weekend bye